dear fellow party women and men, greetings on the occasion of the Foundation Day of the NDPP. We commemorate in a solemn manner another important milestone in our collective journey. At this juncture, it is appropriate that we look back, introspect and reflect on the foundations of our party and the commitments we made, not just to the people, but to ourselves too. The preamble of our constitution begins with the words, placing our trust and aspirations in God Almighty. With the blessings of God and the popular support of the masses, we have made significant progress in the past three years. These blessings come with great responsibility. Let us never forget that we are here to serve. We have pledged in our constitution to strive for realization of justice and equality, to spread the spirit of peace and fraternity, and to uphold the highest traditions of democracy and freedom. We are committed to promote universal brotherhood, fight against violence and bias, and stand up for the realization of true democracy in the greater interests of the nation. Each of us is committed to aspire for social, economic, and political justice in letter and in spirit. Liberty in its true form, that is liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship is what we have promised. This party is committed to be guided by transparency, freedom of speech and expression, respect for human rights, and protection of the secular ethos of the country. We believe in the emergence of the people's voice, realization of the people's aspirations, gender equality, protection and preservation of the environment, and living responsible lives are principles of this party. The NDPP is regional in spirit, yet national in outlook. Our policies are guided by global needs and international concerns. Our objective is to always work towards oneness of society and progress of all, regardless of any background, all of which will contribute towards creation of a society that is secular, just, inclusive. And we must blend our vibrant tradition and rich cultural heritage with modernity and progressive change. We have to constantly battle social evils and create equal opportunities for all. And in trying to achieve this, never forget to listen and recognize the voice of the people. So that the dreams and aspirations of the citizens, especially the youth, becomes our responsibility. Today, we are undergoing extraordinary times. The coronavirus pandemic has altered so many dynamics of our lives. In this changed environment, we need to readjust to an altered world. The sooner and the more effectively we adapt to the new dynamics with action plans that are powered by creativity and innovation, the more successful we will emerge as a people. Let us be the agents of this required change. Let us be responsible for creation of a new narrative for Nagaland, a narrative that generates an environment of self-reliance, sustainability, and one that thrives on the foundations of meritocracy. Let us increase our contributions towards the nation-building process. Let us recommit ourselves to serve our fellow citizens under the guiding principles of our party's motto, facta non verba, deeds not words, kugnalin.